This morning and making some national headlines here, Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes has been sentenced to more than 11 years in prison for defrauding investors in that blood testing startup. ABC's Christine Sloan has more. Former Theranos founder and CEO Elizabeth Holmes sentenced to nearly 11 and a half years in prison in a San Jose courtroom Friday. Prior to sentencing, Holmes, who was pregnant with her second child, addressed the court in tears, saying, I regret my failings with every cell of my body. Yesterday, I wanted to change the world. Today, I want to change myself. Do you have anything to say? Nearly a year ago, Holmes was convicted on four counts of criminal fraud for defrauding investors out of millions of dollars with her false and misleading claims that she could run hundreds of tests on just a few drops of blood. I believe the individual is the answer to the challenges of health care. Prosecutors who sought 15 years in prison called it one of the most substantial white-collar offenses in Silicon Valley history and stressed the alleged reckless disregard Holmes had for patients, some of whom got inaccurate diagnoses from Theranos tests. Her attorneys had asked for leniency, arguing she was a well-meaning entrepreneur and devoted mother. They petitioned for house arrest instead of jail time, or at least 18 months behind bars. Her former lover and chief operating officer, Ramesh Sunny Balwani, convicted on 12 felony counts of fraud and conspiracy, is scheduled to be sentenced December 7th. Holmes has been ordered to report to prison April 27th. Christine Sloan, ABC News, New York.